two, three. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is your weekly sign reading, okay, like and subscribe if you get anything out of this, thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment, okay, let me tell y'all, I do not feel like doing this right now, <laughs> but I'm almost done, I only have water left, I was just, I just pushed stop on the fire sign video, like, mm, I might do Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio tomorrow, but I don't want to, I just want to do it, but um, I almost didn't record today, but I really want to stay on track with my schedule you know um recording has become a part of my morning ritual so um spirit <laughs> spirit really i mean but they were really um like gentle with me this morning you could be feeling really um emotional okay let me say this god archangels ancestors ascended masters all beings of light only please give the water signs the best and most accurate information for them at this time so like I was saying, you could be feeling, um, you know, really emotional today. You could be um, like releasing some old energies or traumas or whatever. Um, when I went outside, I seen 533. OK, um, they've done some sort of upgrade to us all to every single sign. They had me say that for every single one. And we've all received psychic upgrades. OK, so um, but it's not going to be like this overwhelming upgrade. OK, it's going to it's going to it's going to slowly grow a little bit at a time. OK. So, um, you can just, uh, count on that. All right. <laughs> and just, um, it's more about like figuring out how to, um, how to work it. You know what I mean? How to understand what they're saying to you. Okay. So I got four of them, but I don't want to use all four of them. Okay. <laughs> Um, so this one says follow through. Um, so make sure that you're following through with whatever spirits telling you to look at, to investigate. Um, it's very important. Okay. Follow your little nudges, your little signs and all that thing, all that. The more that you follow your psychic abilities. Okay. The more, excuse me, the more strong they get. I guess I said the right thing. Okay. Bliss is worth creating from, for, from. Okay. And like, uh, from and for is crossed out. I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna read them out the book. Okay. Um, we got the spark of hustle. Okay. So, um, they were saying in the other videos that, um, they're sparking like all of this, all of these psychic upgrades that we're receiving, they're about to, kick off a more artistic side of you okay so you might be feeling the need to create new things to try new things that you didn't know you could do and stuff my little thing fell out of my hair i should have picked it up but i didn't i don't want to step on it you could be getting distracted like i just did <laughs> i don't know what the fuck that was okay they just used me <laughs> So anyways, um, make sure that you unstick any energy that could be stuck in your reality, okay? Like, um, I'm going to read out the book, like I said, though, because, you know, it gives me a lot more. I was using these to do shadow work. You could need to do some shadow work, okay? You could be um, still healing and releasing from some shadow work that you've done in the past. It says that you're in the flow with um, the universe, though, on this bliss is worth creating for... Uh-uh, why is it backwards in the book? In the book it says four from four and in the on the card it says from four from. Okay, so bliss is worth creating for and they're like, no, bliss is worth creating from. And it's like, no, yeah, it's worth creating for. So you have to manifest um your idea of bliss, okay, your idea of happiness, prosperity, and joy, but you're in flow with that, okay, you have, um, received some sort of manifestation upgrade, okay, just like the fire signs, it says passionately creating, being on purpose, so you've been really being on purpose, okay, really living in the now, um, in this reality, and that's really good, spirit, God totally blesses you for that, it says creating from the heart, 
finding the things that make your heart sing manifesting more bliss by calling it into your life now okay it says the minute yeah the minute that anchor you down so don't let um any small issues or you know bullshit you know weigh you down from feeling you know high vibe and happy and like you got it going on because you got it going on let me do this because it's kind of getting on my nerves that's probably why my thing fell off because I keep tying my hair in a knot. <laughs> okay, so it's upside down. Um, failure to really believe in your dreams. So you need to really, really believe that your dreams can happen in order for them to happen, for them to be really manifested. You know, um, you can't hide what you really believe from yourself. So. <laughs> It's best to just deal with it. You, you can't front for yourself. That's the best thing. You can't front for God. God knows your heart. So you have to really, um, or you have really gotten it aligned, okay, if, if, you know, you got it together. But if you don't, okay, you have to really believe that what they're saying they're going to give you, they're going to give you, okay? Because they send you the signs and they tell you what's coming to you. Point blank, period. It says... Um, <clears throat> failure to really believe in your dream, being unsure of your ability to manifest, continuously manifesting for the future. So you've been continuously manifesting from the future, like old ass manifestations that you did are about to start coming back to you. It says bliss attracts bliss. So you could be in like a state of bliss right now, you know, in it. A, a place of inner peace and um it's attracting more bliss to you it says when you decide to live with bliss in your heart you call more of the good stuff into your life this is manifestation 101 and rather conveniently bliss is the end game and the vehicle to take you there okay tap into it and it can power your dreams find it daily and you've got a badass success strategy think about it wouldn't bliss help you to build things a lot quicker wouldn't your dream feel a whole lot closer and way more possible if you remembered that you had bliss on tap whenever you needed it do you desire a higher tolerance for for risk so don't be afraid to take risks right now okay to rid your system of toxins and stress rid your rid your system of toxins and stress maybe drink some detox tea um, you can rewrite your brain to pump out the happy hormones that make it all possible. So like, um, yeah, keep going is what it says. If you've been neglecting some aspect of your self-care, this card is a loving wake up call that your creativity may be suffering because of your current mindset, mental health, physical vitality, or waning commitment to a daily practice. So make sure that you keep your daily rituals, you know, every day I burn runes and I do yoga and I, you know, do certain specific things. You know, I make tea like it's whatever you do every day. Um, you know, that time that you get to have silence to yourself, you know, that time where you could talk to God and do whatever else it is that you want to do. Make sure that you maintain that. Keep doing that. Um, it says... Um, so you've received a spark of inspiration, uh, divine intervention. You um, could have found or are about to find your calling um, or work that makes you happy um, and gives you a sense of renewed hope. It says hustling too hard, getting lost in the grind, workaholic tendencies, manifesting busyness. A time to be careful what you wish for. Okay, so like I said, you got these manifestation upgrades. You have to be very careful about what you wish for um, to come into your reality because it will show up. But also like sometimes you manifest things and you don't really realize you're manifesting that thing. Just uh, be careful. I thought it was something on my face with this light. <laughs> um, so... You know when inspiration hits and totally immerses your senses in the possible? That is the spark of hustle at work, okay? It's when every cell of your body 
comes with the desire to put something out into the world. And when you feel that whoosh of energy that brings new ideas to life, the spark of hustle feels like a calling, a compelling, um, like something that cannot be ignored. This card is full of hope and accept expectation. Um, because it whispers, yes, it's coming. And yes, you can do this. Okay, spirit is sending superstar blessings your way along with the passion that has divinely amplified. Look for projects and experiences that are full of excitement and joy and say yes to opportunities that feel totally on purpose. Okay, so dang, there's one more. Unstick the stuck. So there could be some stagnant energy that has been going around that you're unsticking, okay? It says busting out of sticky energy, breaking stagnation, seeing the pattern of your rut, integrating a message, a lesson, or a lesson and um, success, okay? So you're gonna have success integrating some lessons that you may have missed. It says no more stalling. If a situation, relationship, expectation, or unwanted responsibility weighs heavily on your heart, or if the, the dense energy of habit is making you feel like you have limited control over your circumstances, it's time to look at the relationship you have with your ruts, okay? Um, it is so familiar that it feels like it's a part of you, or could it be serving you in some sneaky way, okay? That's that ritual stuff that we're talking about. Um, your rituals are serving you in some sneaky way. You know, it is self-love and you don't really realize it. You know, when you get up, you take a shower, you might put lotion all over your body, put your bra on a certain way or put your pants on a certain way. It's all a part of the self-love that you are giving to yourself. There's the ritual of you every day. Okay. Um, Pay attention, take time to meditate, okay? You could do some breathing exercise or just um, throughout your day, um, take a moment to become more conscious of your breath, okay? That helps um, with these upgrades with your consciousness rising, okay? Um, it says inspirational mediumship. Uh, um, has a thought or idea suddenly appeared seemingly out of nowhere, have you ever given words of wisdom to someone yet the advice didn't seem to come from you but through you? Okay, so you could be doing this. You could be, um, <laughs> you or you could be about to start doing this. Start giving, you're about to start giving the best advice to people because you're, you're now connected with spirit. Okay, you're about to start channeling. Look, <laughs> and you can read people's minds too. You, you can, um, like pick up their, their thought, the brain waves that they're thinking. Okay, that's how it works. You um, might want to do some dancing, okay, to change your energy and make sure that you're nurturing yourself, watching what you're eating, watching what you're, um, you know, doing, indulging in, watch, uh, you know, the people you're hanging around, where you're going and all of that. Um, but this is all divine, okay? You're about, you might even be about to see some shit that might scare you, okay? But don't be afraid. Um, it's all, look, it's all messages from spirit, from the divine, okay? Um, you are a very powerful being. You need to sit in the power. Also, you need to get more familiar with your chakras and um, listen to like some sound bowl videos and stuff like that. Um, make sure that you're um, keeping your space very clear, okay? Pay attention to the divine nudges that you're listening to. Also, I'm getting earth angel vibes from this card um make sure to stay very grounded though okay stay connected with your soul at this time because between this eclipse and the 11 11 on friday your energy is about to be or it is already kind of feeling like it's all over the place but it's really not it, this is just a purging and renewing okay so just go with the flow like don't let it freak you out or upset you or you know make sure that you get grounded because you're royalty that's why this these things are happening to you these are all these are all things that are happening for you not to you um look i got moonstone and lapis lazuli on both of these cards so moonstone really helps you to um get in touch with your emotions and lapis lazuli is um good for your third eye so you could be um your third eye could be expanding or just opening for the first time okay 
Um, what are you becoming? You're going through some major DNA upgrades and you're starting to look at things from a higher perspective. Pay attention to your empathic abilities. Do not be um, absorbing other people's energy, okay? Because um, it's just going to make it more hectic, trust me. Uh, but also just kind of, you know, observe yourself so you can know when you're doing it, okay? Because I didn't used to know when I was doing it. But if you stay anchored in and keep yourself quiet, keep your, your ego quiet, you know, you really can tell what emotions are yours and what emotions are not yours. It says breathe in your trueness, okay? So um, get investigative, okay? If you feel like you have clairvoyance or clear audience or anything like that like look it up okay look into your um birth chart you know start showing yourself a different kind of love which is going back into who you were you know but also expect a different kind of love to start coming up now that you've gone through these energy upgrades because now you're attracting like i said your manifestation abilities have grown okay it says feel in order to know so um you're a very complex system um Pay attention to the things you're feeling in your body, you know. Um, your chakras are very connected to a lot of things that, that you feel in your body, you know. Like uh, your throat might hurt and you're, you could be going through a throat chakra upgrade or you could just have a sore throat. So <laughs> you have to really pay attention to your body, you know, to understand how you're feeling because you're multidimensional, okay. There are worlds within you and there's a lot going on like energetically right now. So um, take it easy if you have to. You might even be feeling kind of drained. Like I'm just really not feeling up to this day at all like i really don't want to do shit <laughs> but just chill but um there's so much life in you okay um there's a lot of shadows and cords being cut with these energetic upgrades you know because you have um your vibration has um outgrown all of your situations and bullshit that you know what's coming to you before that stuff's not going to come back it says um make sure that you're not oper operating from a place of ego but i think that your ego and your pride and your arrogant arrogant spirit like they've kind of died okay <laughs> um you could be feeling like a lone wolf right now okay you could um just be courageous okay and just know that all of this is happening for the better okay for for your further enlightenment um you're meant to be spiritually independent, okay? Um, you could have come from a religious family and you're the first in that family that's gonna break off from this status quo, okay? The, of the way that they think that things are supposed to go because really they were teaching you the wrong thing, okay? It says you're free, trust your instincts, your own path, okay? Um, so tr make sure you're trusting yourself and believing what yourself is telling you. It says warning, <laughs> strength, power, solitary life preferred dignity attack heart stink to shake so you could be um healing from people attacking your dignity okay you know talking down on your name doing uh gossip and low underhanded underhanded shit to you okay um you are your own hero okay <laughs> it says hero the hyena represents the hero who brings sun to the cool earth okay <laughs> so you finna shine on all of these people okay <laughs> um it says that your family is your priority right now but i don't think that your family i mean like if they're part of your family that you know you can't help but to focus on okay fine focus on them but if they are just like not worried about you and you know you're spending too much time worrying about them you're picking up their feelings okay you're picking up their in their your empathic abilities are picking up the feelings of your family so if you could not focus on them don't focus on them okay focus on you um find some some stillness okay some breath some meditation um take some time to yourself i mean it doesn't mean like you know completely ne neglect your family and the people you care about but don't be afraid to take time to yourself it says get grounded and comfortable in your own solitude and take time to rest okay heavy earth heavy earth and masculine energy don't always have to be destructive um highly so you're coming in you're i don't know like highly intelligent and in tune with your intuition so your intuition is strong as fuck right now approach life with humor and joy don't be afraid to enjoy it look joy is on the next card too joy healing luck um you're about to start receiving mad messages from spirit that pack um positive energies and good news okay um so you've been cooperating with spirit and I, you're going through some sort of resurrection like i said you're going through ego death 
be kind to yourself never mind so stop focusing on what you perceive in yourself as faults or flaws because you don't really have any you're perfectly perfect just like god made you okay um there's duality to everything including you you have a light and a dark side okay you know you just like you get happy you get sad just like you you know you get excited you get bored like it's you know you are a multi-dimensional being okay um so also there could be someone trying to backstab or deceive you okay there's some sort of hypocrite hanging around you some sort of ignorant greedy stubborn unclean energy okay um it says a special comp you are a special combo that's all too rare in the world okay you have stories of inner strength you may not realize focus on desired outcomes with gratitude and gratefulness dedication and focus on goals so the focus you've been having on your goals is very admirable okay um your determination has bore fruit so you're about to start seeing this fruit okay you about to start really seeing this fruit <laughs> Hey, you're going to see this fruit. Um, you might want to listen to some high vibrational um, music, okay? Eat some high vi vibrational foods this week. I mean, forever. <laughs> Eat that kind of stuff forever and ever, okay? But um, it will just help. It will help with these transformations you're going through. Look, look, you're releasing a lot of things that you're destined to release. You're destined to release the things that are leaving your auric field, okay? So, it says opposition, imbalance, attention. A point of tension and a power of struggle, but it was in reverse, okay? Don't fight it, okay? Don't try to struggle with this transformation. Just let it happen. It says um, you could be um, getting a lot of early childhood memories going on. Um, a lot of, you know, trying to just... You know put it all together but that's what you're doing you're kind of integrating your experiences with your spiritual experiences okay um so it says instigation bravery and a pioneer pioneering spirit so spirits instigating some growth within you it says think learn network and communicate so um read some books read google some things look up whatever spirits telling you to look up cultural and family roots home peace and comfort okay um they got you looking back at like your house your home your family history type of things it says integrity reverence and service okay maybe you've been of service to your family for years and they don't want you to do that anymore it says intuition trust patience, spirituality and receptivity so you've been very trusting and patient with spirit um and you are getting into this energy of receiving look spiritual transcendence <laughs> spiritual transcendence karma sacrificial service and healing so um you're going through a radical change okay a radical radical change so um just rest if you need to just follow what your intuition wants you to do because um you're about to start it's a time for you to express yourself okay and to really embody the truth of who you are with the sun card embody the truth of who you really are okay it speeds things along yes you've been hurt but you are in a healing energy so you shouldn't be focusing on that thing okay you're destined to have better you're destined to have greater and that's why you had to go through the shits okay because sometimes you gotta go through the shits confidence optimism passion and bravery okay so be brave okay be confident be optimistic about what is coming to you um whatever it says ambition realism and methodical steps you could have been taking steps to um see you could be taking steps to toward your divine purpose okay whatever you want to take steps toward look at pisces intimacy intuition and compassion so you might be ready for love okay you're ready for this connection but spirit's saying there's some things that you need to release first about your childhood and about um that has to because it's getting in the way of the way you show intimacy okay in a relationship so um, there's some things you need to heal from your childhood if you do want to find that love that you're trying to find. But they're already you've already attracted them. That's what Spirit said. You've already attracted this love. But you need to. But they want you to focus. They will stall some things if they feel like you're gonna mess it up with your you know 
with your human feelings. <laughs> they always tell you. That's what I heard. I heard with your human feelings. <laughs> so um, individuality, self-image, and approach to life. It's going to change the way that you see, that you view yourself. And that's going to change the way that you operate in a relationship, okay? Um, establishing a foundation, health, and daily life and practical details. So pay attention to um, what you do in the, in the morning, you know, in your daily, you know, the things you do every day. Like, those are rituals. And they're important, okay? They're they um help you to satisfy your emotional needs and to nurture yourself okay and once you can nurture yourself you can nurture others so um yeah and it's with the moon you might have a lot of things being revealed to you but like i said this moon energy <coughs> that just passed is very strong okay so just have trust and patience with spirit and um just know that you're going through a powerful transformation and you're facing a lot of fears and legacies and um karma You've already been through the karma, okay? But you will have profound relationships, intimacy, and a romantic partnership, okay? As long as you do what they tell you to do. So stop feeling um, restricted. Um, everybody experiences a little bit of struggle, okay? And um, yeah, sometimes it can be hard work to get through it, but you have to operate from a place of patience, okay? Knowing that it's not in your hands, it's in God's hands, okay? And with that, I'm done, okay? <laughs> I am finished. I'm about to go eat some ice cream and cake and cake. Ice cream and cake and cake. No, I'm about to eat some brookies, though. I made some brookies the other day. Anyways, okay, water signs. I hope, I hope you guys have a fabulous, wonderful, and amazing day. And I will see you later.